today we're going to learn how to explore the neutron reference value website so first of all in the first in the home tab you can see there's a there's a home there's a nutrients there's a dry energy chronic diseases calculator resources and contact so let's break it down first so into the home then they, they, there is a um, you can open that if you want to see what's the method uh, framework let's have a look so that's just explain that how has it been set up and what are the current policy and how is it like uh, what's the update and uh, you can also see some of the grocery terms over there like ER is the estimated average requirement and uh, all in RV neutral reference RCT is a randomized control so yeah if you guys can have a look if you want to later um, so with the nutrient so you go to in the macro you go protein fat carbs fiber in the water and in the vitamin and in the mineral so uh, if you want to know for example according to your age and um, uh, according to your age and the gender um, whatever the macronutrient or the macro so for example let's have a look for the um, vitamin A right like you'll click on the vitamin A so you got it vitamin A there it will explain you what are the different types like uh, retinol or the beta carotene and what's the function of each it will explain all the researches as well and then it will also explain the recommendation according to the life stage ranging from the zero to six months all the way up to 70 above into the adults and it will also cover the male or female or, and things like that and also covers the pregnancy lactation and what's the upper level of the intake and generally it also explained that why there is an upper limit set as well so this way you can literally understand the requirement and why there is an upper limit has been set up to avoid the chronic uh, deficiency so uh, and similarly with the other mic micronutrients like uh, like for example if you want to know the calcium it will explain all the functions of the calcium how much it is needed um, all that kind of stuff and then the recommendation uh, again according to the, your age and according to the gender you can check it and why then another there is an upper limit and then you can check out why there is a upper limit and how much is the upper limit and similarly you can check it for the macronutrient as well like for example fat will explain the role of the like saturated fatty uh, saturated uh, fat and the unsaturated fat like uh, pufa and mufa uh, which is polyunsaturated and the monounsaturated and will explain the what, what's the require what's the rdi or the ai which is the adequate intake so with some macro and the micro there is a not sufficient data to provide the rdi so the there is a ai which is the adequate intake and then if there's any upper limit uh, of any uh, nutrient it's generally mentioned in the blow and and then if, if you want to um, learn more about it there's a reference given blow as well and then you can literally go on to that you can just google that uh, reference and look for the more information if you want to so this way you can check out each and every nutrient if you like to then we go into the dietary energy so that depends on your recommendation by the life and the gender if you'd like for example we'll check it like for example let's have a look at the adults so i'm somewhere 30 to 50 and uh, my reference weight my reference weight is like co close to 71 and then i'm like somewhere 1.4 so that's 9900 kilojoules so that nine point down is megajoules to convert into the kilojoules you multiply into thousand so that's 9900 kilojoules and if you want to divide it into the calories you, you divide by 4.2 um and you can read like underneath that that why there is a for example all this um, um, setup and like how you can convert it and um, yeah and then there is a pal which means that the BMR you multiply by into the pal is the physical activity and which is mentioned on there your description of the lifestyle so for example if you're sedentary and then uh, but you still do a little bit active with the walking and stuff like that, you can multiply into 1.6 and that's where you can that's why you can see the it gives you roughly idea it is not going to be 100 percent true all the time because everyone got the different metabolism but having said that it will still give you the, the roughly idea and then you can try on that and then see how you go 
And then there is a calculator as well. So for example, um, if you really want to know, uh, I'm like, for example, 34 years old, I am a male. And if you want to check for someone as a pregnant lactation, and you're going to see the nutrient. And if you want to check any particular, or you want to just check the macro and the, or you, if you just want to see, for example, the border, and uh, you sum it on that one, and then you can see the, because the, there's no upper limit, uh, upper limit, or there's no RDI for the water, so there's adequate intake, which is 3.4 liters. And um, yeah, and the glossary is written below if you really want to have a look. And that's how you can check the um, nutrient for everyone. So, for example, let's have a look. We will click on the pregnant. We gonna see she's lactating as well. Just taking an example, and uh, you wanna see now the, for example, iron. And you click on submit, and then um, you there you go. So the RDI is the lactation is nine, and the pregnancy is twenty seven, and the woman is. Uh, uh, 18 so that's a normal so pregnancy is 27 and the lactation is the nine and uh, so that's how you can um, check the um, uh, different micronutrients and it gives you roughly idea too so for example if the womb, normal woman needs 18 then the pregnancy is 27 and the lactation can be uh, nine you know and what's the there's the upper limit as well so uh, another thing i forgot to mention let me go on the uh, uh, resources sorry so in the glossary if you're not understanding the um, um like what rdi means what's ai mean or acidity means and you can literally or bm or what bmr is you can check all the uh, um glossary in this one and um if you wanna this is a summary table which i really love it that one actually if you download that one and then you click on that one let's wait till it opens it literally gives you the um, every single micronutrient, uh, the the upper limit uh, if there is any, and then what's the requirement of every macro and the micronutrient, which you can have a look if you want to. And um, and then the last one, there is a uh, chronic diseases. So for example, what's the micronutrient, the deficiency and the macro. So for example, if you want to go on the micronutrient, if you want to see how they, if there is like, for example, carbs are um, the AMDR, which is the adequate micro distribution range is 45 to 65, protein is 15 to 25 and fat is 20 to 35. So if you want to know a little bit more about it, why this percentage or why this number has been set, you can literally read about it, like what's protein, what's the function, if there is any relation with the cancer or the kidney problem or things like that, different types of the fat, why it is suggested, why it should be 20 to 25, if there is any chronic disease which can happen, if you take too much saturated fat or anything like that, uh, that's the saturated in the fatty acids and that's your omega-3 and omega-6 and that's your carbs and then there might be a fiber no. and so that's how you can explore it so it's a really cool website if you really want to know about each and every nutrient if you really want to know about um, how much the nutrient you need it according to your age according to the gender and uh in and, and, and according to the life stage and the in if the woman is pregnant or lactating and then you can check it the reference value according to that i hope this uh, video helps you guys to look for the more information i'm gonna put similar three more videos um which is to look for the more information about the nutrients or the food and so if you have any question please put it in a comment and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do it now Thanks for watching my video.